guys it's the macintosh guide and i'm back again with another beta video and today we're going to be looking at mac os sonoma beta 1. as you guys can see mac os sonoma has a brand new interface in terms of our login so the way this works as you can tell our user profile name is right at the bottom we can either click on it and it'll open the option for us to type our password in or we can simply just do touch ID and it brings us right in very quick very smooth love that animation and love this new feature I'm just going to now switch over to my in-screen recording and we will continue looking at other features from there guys we are on Mac OS Sonoma's home screen as you can see um, very very beautiful looking wallpaper as always and that's the first thing we're going to be looking at so if we go into settings and we go into wallpapers I know guys yes they they've kept the Ventura system preferences for Mac OS Sonoma this could change but I really doubt they would now backtrack on the new um, design and guys you can see that there's plenty of ch uh, additional wallpapers off the bat um, you've got your new dynamic wallpaper that's by the default one that I've got currently. You've got landscape videos. Um, also, just to let you know, these actually take a while to download because they're, they're obviously video type of files. Um, but there's, there's loads that they've added. You've got from Yosemite, Greenland, Pat Pat Patagonia, Hawaii, Iceland, Grand Canyon. So, yeah, they look absolutely amazing and beautiful to look at i'm really glad that apple is finally um adding more wallpapers uh to the menu here like we we i love wallpapers the more the merrier the more the options the better so i'm very happy to see that apple is now doing this um but just to go through we've obviously got dynamic wallpapers you've got your landscape ones you've got your cityscape ones uh, which consists of New York, LA, Hong Kong, London, Dubai. You've got your underwater ones. You've got your earth ones. You've got shuffle aerials as well. So yeah, it just loads of options. Again, you've just got standard pictures, which is like the radial ones. Um, and of course, all the previous wallpapers that we, we had. So it's great to see Apple adding all these wallpapers. Um, and the next, of course, one is the screensaver um, where you can actually still again get photos if you want to use photos you've got obviously the other ones such as like the little animations that they have going on um, uh, but you can obviously again it's just so many varieties so many good options better than before so I'm happy to see Apple including that. The next brilliant feature that has come across from iOS and iPad OS it's widgets so we now see a new screen already that says what's new place widgets directly on the desktop and add iphone connected widgets so we can see that we've already got a weather app but what if we don't want it on our notification panel anymore we can just drag it and we can put it on our desktop and you can see that it blends in with the background that's there if we edit the widgets we can see there's more additional ones so we've got battery status widgets now as well so let's say i want to add this widget on I don't have to keep it on my notification center. I can just simply drag it out and place it anywhere I want. So I'm so happy to see widgets now moving across to Mac OS. Um, and also, if you open up an application, it will stay in the background muted to, to what Apple say is to not keep your eyes focused on it. So divert your attention away to what you are actually looking at. So... Yeah, nice, nice additions of widgets, I would say. And I'm pretty sure people are going to be happy with that it's a feature that I think is very interesting, to say the least. Um, it's when I first booted the OS up. Now, as you can see, I've got so many windows open right now. But what if I want to be able to just see what's going on in the background or I want to I want to have a look at something else quite quickly? If I tap away on an empty space, it immediately moves all the applications I had open to the left, top, and the right. Um, and it allows me to focus on something else for the short period of time. Now, I don't know how useful this feature will be. 
but it definitely is a feature that of course Apple has looked at and thought it will be very important um i just don't know in what use case i i would be using this i don't know if there's a disabling option for this i hope i'm pretty sure there probably is um but i just found that very important sorry it also brings it down in your applications on the bottom as well uh, as you probably can't see that well uh, and then if i just tap or back onto the white screen it brings all the applications back but yeah some white space clearing that that Apple have brought in. So you've guys seen wallpapers and screensavers. You guys have now seen widgets, and you guys have also seen how white spacing works in macOS Sonoma. Um, there's another very handy tool, um, which is a, which is with Safari. Now in Safari, you can actually have user profiles. So if you go into Safari and settings. And you click on the profile section you now get an option of creating a profile um, it's very easy you just click on the plus icon let's just say we've done test and let's say we associated an icon you can add any icon you want by the way to this um, let's just put the music icon and we want to give it the color orange sure um, and it says it will create new bookmarks for the profile or we can use existing ones. So let's just say you create new bookmarks for the folder. We create profile and immediately we see a new Safari window has opened up. And all we have to do is just click on the test user profile. And it immediately shows us where we are. So if I go to youtube.com and I open up another page. There you go, it really says we've got two tabs open. We can add our own favorites if we want. It's a bit like Google Chrome profiles, uh, which I'm kind of glad that Apple has brought along. This was one of the things that Safari was missing um, and it helps with individualization. So very happy about uh, this TD feature coming in. Now, another great feature that is in macOS Sonoma for Safari is if you click on the share icon, you will see an option that says add to dock. If you click on add to dock and press add, you name it whatever you want, you'll now see an icon that's created in your dock. This icon will also show up in your applications as it just did now. It looks really funny because it's butchered as hell. However, it's just an easier way for you to access the website. Uh, and it's like a little application itself. So brilliant. I love this. This is um, an amazing feature to have um, and it just makes you you know instead of having to go on the website you just got the dock icon just click on it and open up its own separate YouTube application that will create so yeah it's really good features everywhere by by Apple this year for for Safari as I just thought because we've run through a few features I thought I'll just quickly scroll through the Mac OS Sonoma preview page just so you guys have an idea about all the other features that are going to be coming um, there's obviously a lot of stuff with the widgets we mentioned. Video conferencing gets a few upgrades. You can now put yourself front and center, which is quite nice. And you can have a floating, you can have yourself as a floating icon when you're sharing screen. Um, you also Teams and Zoom and WebEx are all in, indulging in all these uh, new features that are coming out. So they should be available pretty quickly as soon as Sonoma releases. But we know how people are. Um, Safari gets a few upgrades as we saw with more fast and more relevant search history is being able to you can obviously get dock you can dock your apps um, that you can make from Safari passwords you can now share with your trusted contacts so Bitwarden LastPass goodbye messages gets the same upgrades as iOS and iPad OS and watch OS did um, and of course you get the additionals of stickers PDFs or we now have autofill options um, you can also, if you're doing something on notes, you can shift that across the pages very quickly. Keyboard, of course, the autocorrect accuracy has increased and the prediction has, in, has improved. Gaming is getting a, its own game mode. And also there's some exciting stuff happening with DX12 and a possibility of making your Windows games run on Mac even more simpler which we love to hear and see um obviously improvements in privacy you can now 
have uh, sensitive content warnings you can have uh, more improved permission controls in place obviously the lockdown mode as we mentioned and then obviously some some additional features that are happening in accessibility screen sharing mail reminders visual lookup for recipes photos you can now get your you can now analyze your cats and dogs in photos find my you can now share your air tag or find my network accessories of five other people Home gets a few minimal upgrades. Music, you can now share your playlist as well with everyone. Um, AirPods, you can now switch between devices quicker. Dictation gets some improvements. And, of course, we've got the, the devil here. I don't want to say the name because it will activate all my devices. But now it's just a short abbreviation instead of the long abbreviation. And let's just see, have a look at the compatible devices for Mac OS Sonoma. So if you want to be a, a, update to the system you will need an iMac which is 2019 or newer iMac Pro 2017 MacBook Air 2018 and later MacBook Pro 2018 and later Mac Pro 2019 and later Mac Studio 2022 and onwards and Mac Mini 2018 and onwards so all the 2017 devices besides the iMac Pro have been dropped so very interesting seems like they're trying to kill Intel off quite quickly if that Intel 2019 Mac Pro I have dies in two years time Apple you will have some questions to answer um, but guys that was Mac OS Sonoma thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video there'll be more beta videos coming out very soon um, and of course I'm releasing a bunch of beta videos this week for watch OS iOS iPad OS and of course Mac OS Sonoma so stay tuned guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one